Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the three profiles on the Mavic Air 2, the DCINE like, the normal, and the HDR, as well as looking at the Kodaks, the H264, H265, and we're going to find out once and for all what really does give you the best quality video. And by the way, you might want to stick around because the result may surprise you. Let's go! Before we get into the nitty gritties and trying to find out what gives us the highest quality, I would just like to point out the MOV setting and the MP4 setting. These are just carriers of information. It's kind of like you're buying your groceries and you have a red carrier bag and a blue carrier bag. Uh, they do the same thing. They don't change the quality of your video. Normally, if you're using a PC or Android device, you would select MP4. And if you're using Apple products like the iPad, Mac or iPhone, then you would normally choose the MOV setting. But they don't change the quality of your video. So just select which one you prefer to use and then we'll move on to the next settings. So the way we're going to be testing these settings is by running through a series of tests. We will run a low light test with the H264 Kodak, testing all three profiles, the DCINE like, normal and HDR. We will run the test again, but this time with the H265 Kodak. And then what we'll do, we'll put the best low light profile from H264 against the best low light H265 profile. The best Kodak from them results will then go on to the daylight test where we'll test all three profiles in bright daylight settings. The end result will be we'll end up with a best low light profile and a best daylight profile. Now if this sounds confusing, don't worry because as you progress through the video, it'll become a lot more clear. Now I would just like to point out that the DCINE light profile is a flat profile, meaning that it requires color grading and correction in post to get the best from it. I'll be applying a color correction to this profile to bring it as close as possible to the normal color profile and trying to get the highest quality from it I can. Okay then, let's start. The first test is the low light test with the Kodak H264. You're going to see 10 second clips of each profile, DCINE light, normal, and then HDR. We will then be zooming into these clips and comparing each of them side by side to see which profile gives us the highest quality. If at any point during the video you'd like to compare them yourself, just jump back in the video and watch them again. Okay, let's zoom in 300% and take a closer look at the profiles side by side. If we look at the detail from the normal profile, we can see that these small flowers are being picked up quite well, compared to the DCINE like. That's with one hour of me trying to get these details to come out, but I was unable to in post. HDR profile, whilst it has more detail than the DCINE like, is still not as detailed as the normal profile. The other thing I want you to notice is the amount of noise and fuzziness on the HDR and the Cine Light profiles in comparison to the normal profile. In my opinion, the normal profile with H.264 is a clear winner in this test. OK, let's move on to the H.265 Kodak now. And again, we're going to run 10 second clips of each profile. Let us zoom in again 300% and see if the H.265 Kodak can remove any of the issues we had with the 264 Kodak. The noise in DCINE like and HDR profiles is still visible and DCINE like is still missing that detail compared to HDR and normal profiles. In my opinion again, the normal profile has the best quality. Let's now put the H.264 normal profile against the H.265 normal profile to see which one has the highest quality. Here is the normal 264 profile. 
and here is the normal 265 profile and finally side by side and in this particular test I cannot see any clear difference between the two codecs let's move on to the next test which is the daylight test I'll be using the H265 codec in this test for no other reason than it's the newer of the two codecs let's zoom in again and have a closer look I have been able to bring out the detail on the decine like with the uh, brighter setting due to daylight but look at the fuzziness and noise on both the decine like and HDR profiles it's still very visible now I know what some of you may be thinking HDR would excel when recording facing the Sun due to the high dynamic range but don't worry I've got you covered Here's another three clips we can look at and hopefully the HDR profile will be able to stretch its legs. But let's zoom in again and have a closer look. Decine like is still showing signs of fuzziness and noise whilst also looking a bit mushy. Normal and HDR profiles are showing good levels of detail and the noise that was evident on our previous test with the HDR setting seems to have pretty much vanished. For me though the normal profile still looks more natural than the HDR. HDR looks over processed in my opinion and a bit too artificial for my liking. Welcome back guys, I appreciate that's a lot to take in, a lot of comparisons there, but ultimately this is what we want to go with. So H264 or H265, now I couldn't see any difference in quality there between them, but the H265 is a newer Kodak and re um, results in smaller file size. The only thing with the H265 is it's quite taxing on certain computers so you have to make sure that if you're editing it, editing with the 265 that your computer is able to handle that so if you can run the 265 if not run the 264 files will be a little bit larger but no difference in quality next we'll have a look at the decine like I would avoid this at all cost unless you're doing a particular video where you have to really stretch and pull in colors about it just doesn't perform well in uh, low light or in bright daylight you're getting a lot of noise and fuzziness and mushiness in your clips uh, let's have a look at the HDR again this is a probably the only time it really worked in my uh, clips there was when we was facing the Sun and even then I thought it was over processed and a bit artificial looking so I personally wouldn't use that the one that I'd use though is the normal profile and that's going to give you the best results 99% of the time now you may be asking as well why didn't I zoom into the sky or look at different areas I deliberately went for the uh, lowest quality area with the most amount of DL to see which one actually pulled them out so I uh, hope you understand that um, what's that show my t-shirt yeah of course I will so if you got sank out this video like share and subscribe it I hope you gain sank for it and you use that normal profile that's the one that's going to get you the maximum amount of DL but thank you so so much for watching it really means a lot to me and give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more we'll catch up soon guys thanks for watching